guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> if I had done this like two hours ago, I would have been good. But no, your girl fell asleep. <gasps> Finally! Yay! You know what? I'm also ready to see some really cute guys in this show. Yeah. We need it. Mm, me. Also me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unlike you, Laura, I mean, you being a little lazy, but it's okay. But Oscar. Oh, God. It wouldn't surprise me if you don't even like. <laughs> oh Poor baby. What happened? He gonna be the hippo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, Kudurun. Probably gonna give me hippo vibes because of Mermaid Melody. But he's not. He, she, whoever. Um, is not probably going to be as strict as hippo. I mean, that mainly goes to Laura. Because Laura, Laura can be strict sometimes. But, you know, that's okay. Because all she really cares about is being a queen. I get that. You know, that's how we all fucking striving to be. You know, bad bitch, whatever. I mean, hey, do what you gotta do. It makes me wonder with this song aka the person who sang this song you know from Idol Master Million Live I wonder even though I barely play Million Live because I play more SNL other girls and then Bandari ENJP and D4DJ um it would be nice if they would add this song because I mean like Bandari especially Bandari JP has been adding Every freaking song Ross has been featured in for an opening or an ending. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> Favorite <is> a bunch? <laughs> but I get it. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, can you understand Gooden's language? Oh, you're so cute. Apparently not, Laura. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Is this going to be an episode where we're literally studying on coded in language? <laughs> sure, Laura. <laughs> I 
here. Excuse me, oh my god. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> Something tells me that possibly later on, like, Kudurin is going to be able to talk, like, in Japanese so they can understand her. Yeah, so, you know she has to be hungry. That's it, Mikasa. You're so smart. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, hmm? oh, you lost it, didn't you? No, poor baby. Can I just have her? Oh, my God, like, mm. Oh, she's so cute. So basically, it's now her turn to go out and try to do the pretty gears. Perfect. Yeah, because you know kids love rewards. But then there are some parents who don't believe in giving their kids rewards. Oh, well, at least she'll have to clean up after her. I don't think so. <laughs> mm -mm. Hmm? Maybe. Is it something to help you become clean, honey? Uh, yeah, it could be. I mean, it, it is kind of time for you guys to get an official new item. And then, you know, merch sales. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think it's going to be a cannon, but okay. <laughs> that had to be a reference to something else, but of course I probably didn't get it. Because you gotta love when like other shows do references to stuff. Like I got to doing references to Bandai and Gundam. I'm like, ah! Yeah, where's Mirodi? What do you see, Mirodi? Oh, God, that's so pretty.
That's it? Once again, our Mikasa is so smiley on me. Oh, damn. I mean, I mean, the fact that you can understand all of that. is right. That's why something tells me in the end she is going to be an Arthur. I mean, we've known like from her first episode that she likes to write and that she loves to read. So. She about to be, you know, officially violent of her garden, guys, by the end of the series. <laughs> God, I can't. I mean, we should have just gone ahead and opened the dang thing to see what was in it. I'm guessing it has to be more. Yeah, it has to be another jewel thing. Can we just say that she is like the C. Mm, yeah, the C version of Iwan because she literally kind of looks like Iwan, but except Iwan had one eye and she got two. She looks like if I won and what's her face from uh, Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Out of Mode had a kid. I still love it. Like, oh my god, it's so cute. Get coated in. Oh my god. No. Well, honey, unfortunately, today you're not getting a reward. Uh, that is a child, one hundred percent. 
Okay, can we just finally see what it is, though? No, oh, my Kirby. <laughs> Rope. I don't think it's going to do anything special right now. <laughs> oh, never mind. So what is it? A seashell? <laughs> I thought it was fruits. <laughs> oh, cut it out. No. Be forever, baby. That's all. Oh, that was easy. Mm. Sure, you were. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, you really were. Sweets. <laughs> Yeah, but I feel like papaya has an idea. Yeah, it seems like it. This, but she she might end up getting okay. No, never mind, never mind. That never gets old. <laughs> Seven episodes and that never gets old. <laughs> no. I just want her so bad. Oh my god, she's so precious. Are they going to taste like water, though? I mean, well, yeah, the cookies were good, so who knows what these are going to taste like. Aww. For her to maybe to appreciate it, possibly? And share? Is it good? <laughs> Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, he took a picture. And they go take a selfie at the end of it. I was like, I'll get it. Ah! Oh, and it goes in it like memories. Oh, damn it! This one. Be- oh my god! When we get to the end of this show, it's gonna be so much harder. <laughs> Something tells me that Kudurin wants to stay with him. Mm-mm. Wants to stay. <laughs> Finally, after how long, Laura, you understood him. We got the fairy of the group finally. <laughs> oh! Mm, Oh, she's so pretty. Aqua or Jim is some, uh, like, looking behind. Jesus. Oh. Like, seriously, she looks so freaking pretty. Okay. So, the fact is that, you know, I'm, I'm really happy, Midorin, a.k.a. Mikasa, you know, queen. All the queens up in this damn show. I'm glad you got a focus episode today because it just made the most sense that this was about her. Now, I it seems like officially as of today... With this episode, of course, um, Mirarin has possibly the mo- the best or most established relationship with Kuririn. So I'm kind of hoping that everybody still gets like a little bit of, you know, a relationship with Kuririn. Even though it's like, it, it could be like this. Before Mirarin, it was Laura, even though Laura couldn't freaking understand, <laughs> understand her. That's like me getting ready to go on a journey of studying Japanese and how, you know, eventually I might have to watch an episode or something in sub one day and I'm going to have to have the knowledge of this book plus like several other books wondering what in the world they're going to say because maybe one day I might watch an episode while it subs and be like, okay, let me just translate everything in my head. Um, <laughs> but honestly, Kuren is adorable, but I'm really glad that, you know, out of everyone going from the first six episodes, she's technically the first one who gets a focused episode and such. I mean, yeah, you can kind of say last week was like, no, because that wasn't everybody episode. That was a focus driven episode for everyone. So yeah, six weeks in, going on seven, and yeah, Miranin was like, yeah, Total Animation was like, yeah, she's gonna be the first one. I don't care what she's saying. Honestly, that's going to be really interesting to see all four of them cook together, especially since because <laughs> Asuka and Miranin, they are essentially the mothers of the group, mother, father of the group, because they act like not really a couple, but um, almost like, oh, Jesus, like they're really good friends, even though right now it's just we're still establishing the re- the relationship with the four of these girls and plus Laura and now officially Kudanun and then Eventually, when we get into our, I'm about to say six, fifth cure, um, whoever she is, it's going to be establishing the relationship between everybody. And so I pray to God that this show, this season, does not become like other seasons in the mother effing past that um, 
when the final cure essentially comes, it's not like, okay, let's focus on this one and this one only, and let's focus on Manatsu and then leave the other three in the dust. And then coming back to a year from now and being like, okay, I love this show, but I also despise this show for the fact is like, oh, they didn't do the best on relationships and character driven episodes and such because right now seven episodes in they're doing a really good job but once we get into like <laughs> the 20s 25 second half of this series oh that's when it's gonna be really it's really gonna matter then right now which is like okay we have five characters we can give everybody a development including the person who is the main focus of this episode so like for example next week's episode is an oscar driven episode even though everybody else will also be getting the main focus so it's gonna be really exciting to see her teach the girls how to cook because it seems like out of the four only one can cook i mean you know hey biggest thing that i also want to see from these girls um since they're bonding and they've been bonding ever since you know all four of them have officially gotten together adding laura as well um i kind of want to see them go like <laughs> let me take a little note from jujitsu kaisen because you know asuka's a jujitsu kaisen i want to see them go shopping i really really do or you know you had the episode where last week when they were trying to figure out the club name what the club is and there's like that and you know helping those girls get the penguin back um them you know at sango's um mom's store the com the cosmetic store and them playing with makeup that was like the best thing about last week's episode and it was just like oh my god like to have a group of girlfriends or just friends and you're just doing something together that essentially all of you love that's like if <laughs> well me and my girlfriends what we would do <laughs> when we all got out of high school <laughs> we always played mario party and mario kart like, we, we would <laughs> like every two or three weeks we would sleep over somebody's house and just play mario party and mario kart all night and then um talk about some ish and stuff because we had one friend that didn't watch anime and me and my other friend we <laughs> we watched the crap out of anime and such and so anytime if we me and her were talking about anime you have her being like a third wheel be like what the heck are you talking about but the only thing she really knew about anime or the anime that she had known the most was sailor moon and i'm like oh, okay i'm like you know how it's like some people who kind of like gatekeep anime who say like oh that's anime but then at the same time it's not anime like you have not gone on <laughs> a journey to see so many others because there's so much more than just Sailor Moon out there you just need to find things that you enjoy and I mean you know maybe one day if I'm ever over her house or ever I'm talking to her and shit I'm like hey watch this show watch that show if you like some comedy here you go you want some slice of life here you go you want something serious that's gonna make you cry here you go but even told today like with anyone who i talk to including my friends like i get so many freaking requests i'm like asking me like what should i watch it's so funny but yeah i mean i love the fact that we're seeing just different ways of these girls bonding because you need that the bond and the teamwork is in the friendship and so if there was no friendship, there would be no bond, there would be no nothing, there would be no teamwork. And how would they work as a team, essentially? So, yeah, here's hoping that, you know, the next few episodes for the next few weeks, getting on to probably when we get to week 12 of the show, or even week 15, it's going good. Also, in my opinion, if we're, I'm going to go ahead and, like, do my prediction of, um who I think the final cure is going to be and still I'm always going to say it's possibly Laura do not tell me who it is um and ish I as of right now I only know the name I don't know what they look like anything um so I've been for the last few weeks I literally had to like mute the freaking word um and also block people because I did not want to know anything about spoilers for like who the final cure is who the say you is because um possibly apparently whoever the say uh yeah whoever the say you is for this final cure i'm guessing they're really big i mean you can't go big big this cast is already big this is already a go to cast and the last big care uh va that say you that they got was umi from love live now with this show you got freaking nico yazawa up in this ish so my thing is like i have like two two or three vas who would really love to be in this series 
So I said Tomoyo Kurosawa is one only because of the fact is, you know, thinking of Akudama Drive and everything that she's done from the end of Akudama Drive up to Eurocamp. And the fact is that she's already worked with um, Sango's VA. I would like to see that. And she's also worked with Asuka's VA as well because they were in Jujutsu Kaisen recently together. Um, she's one, I would say, uh, I cannot pronounce her name, but <laughs> here's the other Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> connection. Um, her brother is in Jujutsu Kaisen with Asuka's, um, Seiyu. He plays Meganine. Um, so his sister, who is automatically known for a lot of characters, but I will give you like my top favorite characters. If you have seen Animal Master Shinra the Girls, Bronco. If you have seen um, Is the Order a Rabbit, it is, uh, oh my god. It's not Lise. Um, it's not Chino, because Chino's already been in this series. It's pretty, if we're pretty curious, and that was CL. Um, it's not, Li it's not Liz. I, oh my god. Shadow! There we go. Yeah, 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 there we go. And then uh, Katarina Kleis from um, the one series that she did with uh, Sorami uh, Hayumin Sensei. So I would like to see her. And then if there was one more I could possibly say, maybe. Ooh, that's hard. Like, ugh. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Because she's in a show with Aoi Yuki as of, as of today. Well, no, it's Sunday now. As of yesterday, it's Kaede uh, Hondo, who plays Sakura. That's her big, big, big role um, for Zombieland Saga. I would really like to see her. I mean, she's in a lot of things, especially, you know, when Zombieland Saga came out. Um, she was in a lot of ish. And that kind of gave me a feeling like, okay, you're in a lot of stuff. This is kind of like your newest show. And then, I mean, because you also have freaking Manasu playing a JoJo, and I'm fucking excited for this shit, so let's go! But um, at the time when uh, Kaede came into, you know, the voice acting world, she was getting, you know, role after role after role after role, and something kind of told me or clicked in my mind. I was like, what if she's going to be a pretty here? And I don't remember when Comic Girls and Zombie Land Saga came out, but of course, well, no, it's been like two years since Zombie Land Saga season one came out and then almost maybe about three years since Comic Girls came out because I think they both came out at the same time. So I think we were at Hugato maybe by the time when Zombie Land Saga and Comic Girls came out. So of course no that didn't happen. But because of the fact is this is now officially between Zombie Land Saga Revenge and I've been killing uh, slimes for 300 years and I've maxed out my level came out officially as of yesterday. It would make the most sense because she is a very interesting popular VA as of right now. If it's not her, then maybe one of her co-workers who plays Junko because her last role was um, Kuma Kuma Bear. She's also in Idol Master Cinderella Girls with... Um... <laughs> I just blinked. Uh, <laughs> with Sarami Hayamin and Ronko's VA. So, I mean, it's a lot of things. There are a lot of Zayus that I really, 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 really... Oh, and she's also with, with uh... <laughs> Tomoyo Kurosawa and Idol Master Shirt of the Girls. There are a lot of Zayus that I really, really, really want to be a part of this series. And if it's whoever it is, I know she's going to be amazing. I just, I want to know now because your girl wants to know but of course we're not really going to know who this final cure is who her say you is until about we're on episode seven going on episode eight and usually the final cure doesn't come out until between 20 to 25 and by episode 20 we're about into my birthday month yeah so we might not even know until october mm -hmm. that's a long time away from now mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean mm, i really want to know please let me <laughs> please just give me a hit something i mean i really just wish like see this is why i'm mm -hmm. this is why i end up doing what i do i am doing research on this but <laughs> like mm, we're gonna find out today like oh my god it's not even funny like oh no i got one more Oh my god, I know who else could be in this show. Um she was she was in Horimiya. She played freaking Yoko Hori. 
her VA. I mean, she's known. Uh, it would be nice to see, yeah, her VA. I, I just don't remember her name. Um, Haru. It's Haru something. Um, who plays Asuna in SAO. It would be interesting to have the SAO tie-in because Silica, a.k.a. Laura, is her in this show. So it would be really, really nice to see anybody who possibly has worked with any of these seiyus in the past in this current show now. But who knows? We ain't gonna know until later on, which sucks. But, you know, I could still wish for any of the seiyus that I want to come in this show to come in the show. I mean, seriously. We, we I'm still, I still can't believe that, you know, characters from my kutsu, seiyus from my kutsu, like, ah, oh, I can't. <laughs> it's too much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7. I'm Tropical Rouge, pretty care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 8. Bye, guys.